Hey there, Tyler Horvath here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get started using the WYSIWYG editor in WordPress. So a lot of people come to me with issues that they have um, in, you know, the layout or the formatting of their WordPress posts. So I wanted to make a video that really explains all of the things that you can do in the WYSIWYG editor and how to use it to, uh, you know, the best of its ability because it can, it can do a lot of really great things. So let's get started. So we're in our site here that we've been creating over these past few videos, um, and we're going to look at all of the things that you can do in the WYSIWYG editor. So um, when you first come into your WordPress post, you're gonna see this editor screen here, and you're gonna see a toolbar at the top that has all of these little buttons and um, you know little things that you can push and do to format your article. So um, in order to see the whole toolbar, I suggest clicking the toggle here, and this gives you a lot more options of things that you can do um, in the WYSIWYG editor. So let's first look at um, formats. So uh, the formats tab is really good if you're, um, you know, looking to format text or um, add style to things. Um, now I don't really use this that much um, because you know I don't, um, you know, put any of these elements usually in articles. Um, but a lot of the times I'm using this um, and the rest of these um, elements here. So uh, the next element is the formatting um, drop down. So this is really great um, because uh, you can easily format your heading tags. So, you know, how I write articles is um, I'll build out my um, heading sections. So let's say this article is about uh, lorem ipsum text and how to use it. So let's say how to use lorem ipsum, and then I'll say, let's say, what is lorem ipsum? How is, how to use lorem ipsum? And then let's say, why should I use lorem ipsum? So I'll lay those out, and then you can um, set those as the heading. So all you have to do is select the text, and then choose which heading uh, you want it to be. So um, if you aren't familiar with heading tags, um, you know, it's really important for SEO. So when you make a post, the H1 is the title and that should already be um, the H1. So you won't need to add an H1 because there should only be one H1 on every page. So these should all be H2s and then any headings under these sections would be H3s and so on and so forth. So it's pretty simple. Um, and all you have to do is um, either choose this drop down so you can select the text and then just choose heading two. Um, another way you can do it is selecting the text and clicking um, shift alt two or whatever the heading tag is. If you want heading three, you do shift alt three, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just do that, super easy. And then another way you can do it is in the HTML or text of the page. So in order to see the actual HTML of the post, you can click this text tab here and that will show you the actual HTML. So you can see we have the P tag here, the paragraph tag, uh, we have the strong tag for this warm ipsum, and then uh, we have the H2. So let's change this to H2. And then we can go back to the visual editor and we can see now that it's H2. So there's three different ways that you can add heading tags to text really easy like that. Uh, and it's super helpful when you know, you're know you laying out your text and your articles. So, um, some of these other uh, buttons that you can use here, obviously, you know, you have the bold, italic, um, and then these bulleted lists are great too because you can just um, do these a few ways. You can say bulleted list, and then you can select that and click the bulleted list, and then you can just keep going on building your list. List item two, list item three. Um, another way you can do it is simply just um, laying them out like this. and then selecting all of them and clicking the bulleted list. And that will um, do that. So let's say you wanna separate two bulleted lists. All you have to do is click enter twice and it will separate them and end the bulleted list. So if you're done um, you know, making bullets, you can just click enter twice and it will go on to the next paragraph where you can start typing. Um, now another important um, little widget up here is the alignment. Uh, so this can align your text left, right, or center. Now by default, it's aligned left in WordPress, but if you want to center it, 
you can click this center button here and let's take a look and see what that looks like so you can see that that text is centered in um, our post so another really important piece is this insert link um, so a lot of people are asked always ask me how to insert a link in WordPress and have um, you know anchor text instead of just pasting in the actual link uh, so it's really easy to do all you have to do is just copy your link so let's say we want to link to this URL here so let's select the text we want the link to be and then just click insert edit link and you can just paste in the link and click enter or you can click this link options button here and it will give you a ton more options um, you know if you want to link to a specific page you can do that uh, instead of having to paste in the URL on your site um, you know you can also do, do open in a new tab and um, stuff like that so let's click update and then you can see that our link is now a link to you know that URL that we put in. So it's super simple to use, um, and it can really help you lay out uh, your posts and add links really easily. Now this bottom section here is just more um, more text formatting that you can do. So um, you know they have the strikeout if you want to you know strike through text, or um, if you want to add a horizontal line in your article, you can do that and that will add a line all the way across your article that can kind of separate things. Um, now the color of that is gonna be different depending on the CSS and your theme, um, but uh, a lot of times, you know, it'll just be a gray or a black line. So some of these other things, obviously you can change the text color if you want. Um, you know, not a lot of people do this because you don't wanna have, um, you know, a bunch of different text colors on your posts. Um, now it can be good for, you know, like calls to action if you have, you know, a um, a deal or a discount and you want to show it in a different color um, you know that can be okay but usually you want to stick with just black black font um, and so some other things you have here you have this is a great button here it pastes text so if you're writing a lot of your articles in uh, word and then pasting them into wordpress you'll notice that there's a lot of extra characters and a lot of funkiness going on um, in order to combat that wordpress added this paste as text button and basically you can copy your Word document and then click paste this text and it will format it better for WordPress and you know remove all that unneeded HTML and um, make things look a lot better than if you were to paste it in there normally. Now this, this next button is a very powerful button as well, the clear formatting button. Um, this will take off all of the formatting of any text that you will select. So let's select this and click clear formatting. You see it lines it back left, it took off the bold. Um, and that's a great way to easily clean up text, you know, and remove formatting that you don't like. Now, this special character button is pretty cool because you can add, you know, um, special characters that aren't on, you know, the keyboard. Let's say you wanted to add a trademark symbol or something like that. You know, you can easily add that with the special um, character button. So lastly, I wanted to talk about is the undo and redo. So, um, you know, if you don't um, like clicking Control Z on your keyboard or undo on your keyboard, you can simply use this button and it will um, step forward or step back like three or four times. So I know that's great if you you know make a mistake, it's okay, you can just um, go back like that. Now another thing that you can do is um, look at your post revisions. So um, if you click this screen options button up here, you'll see a, um, a checkbox for post revisions. Just make sure that that's checked on and then click update and you should be able to scroll down and see um, all of the post revisions for that post. So you can see here all of these past post revisions. So this is every time that you've clicked save on that post, you can see it. So then you can click on that and you can compare it to the current one and you can easily click restore this uh, revision and it will go back to how you had it on that date. So lastly, and probably most importantly is the media button. So people are always asking how to add images to WordPress posts. Uh, it's super easy with uh, the add media button. All you have to do is click add media. And then this is where you can upload files, you can manage all of your files, and you can even edit your images. A lot of people don't know you can do this in WordPress, but um, to easily upload files, you just click upload, then select files on your computer, or you can just drag them right into this box right here and WordPress will automatically upload those as well. So let's look at how to um, work with the WordPress image editor. So in order to do that, all you have to do is click edit image. And that will bring you to this little editor here where you can crop, you can rotate, you can do a number of things. 
Um, so let's look at the crop. So let's just crop just this little WordPress part out. Okay, and then we can click crop. And that will crop it. And now we have to save that image. And that will replace that original image with the one that we just made. So now in order to insert it into your post, all you have to do is select it. Now you can also select multiple by doing shift or you know hitting control and, and selecting them. And that will insert them all. Um, but it's a lot easier just to do it one at a time depending on, on you know on what you're building. But um, you also have these options here down below that are important. Um, you know, you have the alignment, you have a link to, and then you have the size. So if you want it to be spanning across, you know, the whole blog post, it's going to have to be at least, you know, six, 700 pixels. So we're going to choose this full size. We don't want any alignment because we want it to span across the whole thing. And we're not going to link to any URL. Now, if you know, you're wanting to add like an image button to a, a post and you want it to link to something, you can add custom URL and that will make that image clickable to, you know, any custom URL that you would like. So that's really, um, a great feature as well but we're just going to click none here and if you want to add alt text you can do that right here um, you know it's pretty good for SEO and it can help you rank better in Google images so let's just say WordPress and then insert into post and then it will insert that image into the post you can see that it's full size so let's take a look at what it looks like cool so it looks really great um, it's span across the whole page and it's our new cropped image that we cropped in WordPress. So that's basically how you use the WYSIWYG editor in WordPress. Uh, if you have any questions at all about using the editor or um, anything at all about WordPress, please comment below. Also be sure to follow my channel for more information on using and optimizing WordPress. Thanks and I'll see you next time.